Andy from Giz China, and we're looking at the Neo N003 Basic. It's a one gigabyte RAM phone with 1080 display, quad core processor, uh, 30 megapixel rear camera, MHL OTG Android 4.2, Yamaha amplifier, Asahi laminated display, pretty much everything you could want in a phone except NFC, which might even be getting equipped on the advanced version later this year. If we look at the phone, design-wise, I'm not a fan of the design. I think it looks a little, little old-fashioned, almost like an iPhone 3GS. Um, the silver bezel, you know, border with the black, you know. To me, it, it doesn't look very classy. It looks a bit old-fashioned, and especially when it's mixed with the white rear. I think there's just too much going on here. Um, so I'm not a fan of the, the overall style of the phone, but I am a fan of the build quality and the feel of the phone. It feels very sturdy in your hand. It feels very well made. There are no annoying creaks. It's very, you know, you can't bend it. You know, you have to give it a real, you know, you know, pull to get it moving. So it is much sturdier than, say, the Zoppo C2. Um, so they've built it well. They've done a really good job of, you know, manufacturing the phone and the choosing the, the materials. It's just a shame that the phone looks a little, you know, dated. All right then, let's have a look around. So here's the front, three megapixel camera, 1080 display, capacitive buttons with backlit, uh, which are backlit. We have an LED notification light just at the top here. Light sensor and proximity sensor also. Turning the phone around, we've got a 13 megapixel rear camera, LED flash, external speaker, which is you know pretty good. We've got the Neo uh, logo slogan with Neo Team Sense, and as you can see there are no CE marks on here so you know if you're going to import this into your country you might want to check if that's going to be an issue. The top of the phone we've got the micro USB and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and you can also see that the camera does jut out a little bit, it protrudes from the body. We've got a volume rocker on the left hand side which can either be used with your left hand thumb or the index finger on your right hand. On the right hand side of the phone we've got a power button, again the right hand, your thumb can easily reach that or your index finger on your left hand can get it. And the bottom, we don't have anything except this little groove to pop the back off and a micro, uh, sorry, a microphone. <clears throat> if we do take the back off, let's pop the phone down for a minute. So we've got this plastic shell, it's uh, made of thicker material than we normally find on a phone. We've also got this nice rubber seal which will stop debris and dust from getting into the phone or at least you know slow it down a little. You can see that Neo have added a lot of tabs along the edge of the uh, plastic shell meaning that you know it pops on and off with a nice sturdy click and uh, there's you know it only comes off if you do pull it off. There's no issue of it popping off by mistake. Uh, for example with the Jiu G4 if you take off the silicon case it can sometimes pull the rear shell off too but the Neo, we don't experience that. Inside we've got dual SIMs, they're both regular size, we've got a, an SD card slot, there's the camera again, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth antenna at the top, top. GPS there, we've got our uh, 3G and Edge antenna down at the bottom, and a very thick 3000 mAh battery. All right, so we'll pop the back back on, you can hear that it clicks nicely into position, there we go, unlocked. Okay, and then you can see backlit capacitive buttons. <clears throat> All right, so here we are on our your know, home screen of the for the Neo N003, and um, you can see if we move from one page to the other, there is definite lag there. What's strange is we I can only really see the lag on the home screen. Um, so it's either an issue with the optimization of the software or, you know, it's because it only, it only has one gigabyte of RAM. I have a feeling it's optimization. If we go into the app drawer, the first few uh, slides are a bit laggy, but as you can see, it soon speeds up and the lag disappears. It's only here that we can see it. So I'm wondering if it is just a, an optimization issue and it's something that Neo can fix in the future. Okay, now, some uh, 1080 phones that we've tried in the past 
have had issues with ghost touches and I'm happy to say that the Neo is pretty good. Um, it, you know, it's quite accurate. There are times now and again when we're flicking through the gallery and you know, the image might you know, move instead of zoom in or switch to the next image. But it's not quite as, well, it's nowhere near as bad as the Zoppo that we tried earlier in the year. If we go into the languages, I'm sorry, which way? Da, da, da. Am I there? Go to languages. You can see that we've got loads of languages here. And flicking through these, there's no issue, no ghost touches. It's really good. So that's nice. The screen is nice and responsive. The, it's just that little bit of lag on the home screen, which is a bit bizarre. All right then. So while we're in here, let's go into the gallery. Let's have a look at a photo. So here's our gallery grid view. You can see going through photos, you know, there's no issue really there. It slides through, scrolls through, no problem. <clears throat> if we take a look at a photo that we take, we took with it, you can pick up some nice details with a 13 megapixel camera on the Neo N03. And you can see going through, moving around, scrolling through the photos, it's not an issue. Picks up some really nice details in the water there. Overall, I'm quite impressed with the rear camera on the Neo. It does make some, you know, it gets some really good photos with some nice details. The only issue is really at night time, where images get a little bit noisy. This photo was taken without the flash. It's not too bad. You've got the street light lighting up the scene. This is the same photo with the LED flash. You can see it's made this area a bit darker and it's lit up the number plate a bit better. The LED flash actually isn't all that great. If you take a look at this photo, you can see only the center is uh, you know, exposed by the LED flash. The rest of it is you know, hidden. You can't really see it in the dark. All right. Here's a photo of a spider. It's not radioactive, it's just the LED flash. All right. Let's have a look at a video. I put a video together, just quickly filmed the video before. You'll be able to see this on YouTube later. Okay, so this is the Neo N003. I'll just turn that test. down. I'm gonna check out, see if the N003. All right, so, Oops, I'll keep that running. Now, oops, sorry. Um, what I do like about the N003, you know, the, obviously the camera is good, but the video quality is very good too. In the past, with the Jiu G4 and the Yumi X2 and other phones, I found that the focus is always hunting and searching and, and trying to lock onto something, and that is not an issue with the Neo. You can see even passing that tree then, the focus on another phone would try and, you know, hunt around, try and capture it, and obviously, you know, make the, the the video unusable. But the Neo does a really quite good job. It's probably one of the only MediaTek 1080 phones that I've used in the past year that actually produces video I could use. So that's a real plus for the Neo. Okay, let's go out of there. All right, let's see what else we can do while we're in here. Let's go to the browser. Giz China is already loading up. All right, so we're on Giz China, and you can see scrolling through is not an issue. It's not slow, there's no lag, that's nice. Zooming in on images is not a problem. Zooming in on text, not a problem. So this is nice. What Neo have done is, I guess with all that extra time they've had, you know, with the phone, they've really put it into developing it and, you know, making a, a nice usable ROM for the phone. And, uh, you know, as a daily phone, it's probably one of the nicest we've tried. Just that lag is a little bit annoying. Okay, let's see if there's anything else we can take a look at while we're in here. Uh, I won't show you a gaming t video just now because I've already loaded up a, a separate gaming video. I think that's everything. So overall, um, the Neo N003 Basic is a really nice phone. The screen is beautiful. It has lots of nice features. It has a very good camera, a very impressive camera. Um, using the phone is fine. There's, there is that little bit of lag there. 
And you know, you'll see on the video for the game that uh, although games do run quickly, they do load slowly and some of the special effects aren't quite as fluid as you might like. Um, my opinion would be, if you are thinking of getting a Neo N003 and you want it to last until the, you know, the really sorted 8 core phones come out next year, get the advanced model because I think you could really live with that. Um, if Neo can sort out that optimization on the, you know, here, to speed that up a little bit, I think this is a, a real winner and probably one of the better 1080 phones currently available on the market. Alright then, well the full review will be on Gist China later, and uh, sorry about the motorbike, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for your time, bye bye.